TBTC, Bitcoin on Ethereum. If you like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. TBTC is simple for users. Deposit Bitcoin, mint TBTC, lend and earn interest on your Bitcoin. So you could deposit TBTC on Compound and earn interest on your Bitcoin. And you could also use TBTC to collateralize vaults on Maker to create more DAI. So who created TBTC? Keep and Suma is part of the cross-chain group. In the resources section, you can see more info. James created Suma and Matt created Keep. So let's go over a recap of TBTC from Matt's tweets. Continuing, the cat's out of the bag. For the last 10 months, the Keep team, building on the work of Suma, has quietly been building a trustless bridge from Bitcoin to Ethereum. The spec is up at tbtc.network. The premise is simple. Existing federation-based approaches to Bitcoin sidechains are broken, exposing users to risks of censorship and theft of funds. These aren't acceptable trade-offs, and they've kept us from better scaling and building with Bitcoin. In plain English, a federation-based approach means a group that agrees to standards to communicate with each other. In networking, an example is Yahoo Messenger being able to send messages to MSN Messenger. Continuing, for years this problem appeared intractable. There's a widespread misconception that trustless sidechains on Bitcoin require a soft fork because Bitcoin isn't expressive enough. Bollocks. Bitcoin is ready for this today. In plain English, trustless sidechains are blockchains that allow digital assets on one blockchain to be used securely on another blockchain. A soft fork is a change to the Bitcoin protocol wherein only previously valid blocks are made invalid. Since old nodes will recognize the new blocks as valid, a soft fork is backward compatible. Bitcoin not being expressive enough has to do with Bitcoin's UTXO programming language not being able to work well enough with trustless sidechains. Matt disagrees with this. Continuing, we've sacrificed decentralization for years because we thought we couldn't do better. Solutions like Liquid and WBTC are pragmatic approaches, but aren't censorship resistant. Solutions like Truthcoin's Jive chains are awesome, but require changes to Bitcoin's consensus. In plain English, Liquid is an inter-exchange settlement network based on a federation peg sidechain. Bitcoin is locked in a 15-signer multi-sig wallet comprised of exchanges and Liquid participants pre-vetted by Blockstream. These signers validate the sidechain in an approach the team calls Strong Federation, where a majority vote to sign blocks and agree to approve exits to the main chain. WBTC is a Bitcoin-backed ERC-20 token. It relies on a consortium of institutions. So why aren't they censorship resistant? Blockstream and WBTC can censor your transactions as custodians. And as an aside, Truthcoin provides peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin sidechains. Continuing, turning an expressive existing chain into a Bitcoin sidechain gives us a robust set of tools to maintain a trustless peg. The first tool is what I'm calling a multi-federation. Instead of trusting Bitcoin deposits to a single wallet, each deposit in TBTC is dynamically assigned a new disjoint threshold ECDSCA signer set. We're no longer building an entire economy on 15 fixed custodians. In plain English, ECDSA means Elliptic Curve Digital Signature Algorithm. This means instead of having 15 custodians holding your Bitcoin, like Blockstream's approach, you can have an infinite amount because each deposit uses ECDSA to create a new custodian. Continuing, the second is Native Asset Bonding. On Ethereum, signers can put down ETH to ensure good behavior. If they misbehave, their funds can be seized. An example of this is if Bob deposits one Bitcoin and he puts 100 ETH as collateral, and then Bob tries to game the TBTC system, then Bob gets his 100 ETH taken away. This is an example and not specifically what happens. Continuing. The last is validation. Using an expressive chain 
as a sidechain means we can validate SPV proofs from Bitcoin, proving deposits as well as any signer misbehavior. Our multi-federation is now trustless. In plain English, validation means confirming a transaction is correct with other parties. An expressive chain is the TBTC Ethereum chain. An SPV stands for Simplified Payment Verification. SPV proofs demonstrate that a transaction output that is unspent was created in a specific block in the Bitcoin blockchain, for example, by relating it to the Merkle root of transactions. Continuing, together we're calling this approach a bonded, multi-federated peg. Solving this problem means bringing DeFi to Bitcoin and Bitcoin to DeFi. Imagine taking out stablecoin loans against your Bitcoin with MakerDAO, earning interest on your Bitcoin with Compound Finance, and trading Bitcoin with Uniswap without counterparty risk. It's not just about DeFi. There will also be Bitcoin dApps, there will be Bitcoin mixers, and one day if we're lucky, there will be Bitcoin crypto kitties. For context, what is a mixer? Well, a mixer mixes transactions together to make them private. In theory, the more people that use it, the stronger it gets. An example of this is Tornado Cash on Ethereum. Now back to Matt's tweets. Continuing, we're not alone. This mechanism design has been inspired, co-architect, discussed, and reviewed by some of the most brilliant folks in Bitcoin or Ethereum. This is all great, but when can you play with it? Well, yesterday we demoed a Bitcoin Ethereum dApp at the Crosschain Group's first Interop Summit. We have deposits from the Bitcoin testnet to prove to a private Ethereum testnet working today. In this demo, you can see someone in an initiating a deposit on TBTC. TBTC is expected to be released by end of Q1 2020. If you'd like to learn more, please visit tbtc.network. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next one.